Hi, you guys. Today, I'm going to be drawing in this Vampire Diaries coloring book and drinking this Virgin Bloody Mary that I made and just chatting because chatty get ready with me is a thing and I don't like to get ready, but I do like this. I like this. You know what I especially like about this? I like that the people who made this coloring book clearly are Team Stefan because this is the drawing of Damon and it's repulsive and perfect. That's whatever that is. Ignore that. Oh, our little baby. And then also, oh, oh little baby Stefan. He's an angel. Is this your king? Hmm? Is it? Look at this little. Oh. What do we see that? Hmm? John. Okay, so this is an incredible coloring book. Obviously, an amazing work of art. Is this Klaus? Is this supposed to be Klaus? How could they do our Klaus like that? That's unacceptable. No. What I really also like about this is that I really, truly, beyond those first photos, I'm like, who are these people? Like, context tells me that's, that's Elena. That's Stefan. What? Who is that? Who is that? There she is again. I truly have no idea who that is. Anyway, which drawing should we do? There's so many gems to pick from. The brothers angst. Oh, don't murder someone, Damon. Kill me instead. Why? Why are you like this? Like, they look different in every single one. Oh, dramatic. I think we should just do, we should just start with Stefan. So I don't have a lot of drawing supplies, so I'm borrowing my son's little art set that he got for preschool. Oh, I keep bumping this camera. Sorry, it's wobbly, guys. Okay, Stefan. Here we go. Is this going to wiggle the whole time? Oh, it is super going to wiggle the whole time. Okay, pause. <laughs> Look at what a high-tech genius I am. Figured it out. If it wiggles now, then we're doomed. Oh, my sweet Stefan. Can I tell you guys a secret that is... <laughs> it's just silly. <laughs> so... Somebody was like, you should do a makeup transformation into Stefan. And I haven't done one in a while. And I was like, oh, I think I could, I think I could get into that. Wow, these crayons are complete and utter trash. Zero out of five stars. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, I think I could do a Stefan transformation. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do a transformation into Stefan, specifically Stefan doing the crying gif. Have you guys seen that gif of Stefan crying from when Elena breaks up with him? in season two and it's this the funny it's like the most chin quiveriest thing and i was like i'm gonna transform into stefan and then i'm gonna do i'm gonna make myself into like the crying gif and i was watching it yesterday and it made me legitimately sad i watched the scene with not even with the volume on this looks really upsetting this is not a good this is a little bit scary. I don't like this buildup on his face. Let's see if I can scratch it away. Anyway, watching him cry hurts my heart. <laughs> like truly, it actually hurt my heart. It made me like less excited to do the transformation because I was like, this isn't funny. This is just sad <laughs> for Stefan. Then I was like, I need to relax. Okay, well, this is not cute. Stefan's cute, but this is not cute. All right. I think we can, I think we can make this work. Anyway, thinking about Stefan crying, making me want to cry, reminded me of an important topic about the, vam the, va the vampire diaries. <laughs> An important topic about the vampire diaries that I feel like we haven't covered that much, which is, um, 
why does this show hate all of its good characters so much? Because I don't think I've ever seen a show with this level of commitment to torturing all of the good characters endlessly forever and then giving like rewarding good things to all of the characters that suck super bad. And by that I mean Elaine and Damon. But like Bonnie and Caroline and Alaric and Stefan. My Stefan. Oh my god. What is wrong with the writer's room that they're just like <laughs> fuck these guys. Bonnie, oh my god. Bonnie deserves so much better in every at every point of everything. Should we do next his green eyeballs? Stefan has really pretty eyes and they don't get enough credit because everyone always looks at Damon's crazy eye. Damon has crazy eye. They are pretty color, but he has crazy eye the whole time. And I promise this won't just be another video of endless Damon slander. And by that, I mean it is going to be another video of endless Damon slander. But I'll also talk about other stuff. Stuff? I'll talk about other stuff. <laughs> Oh goodness. There's no brown crayon? I have to use some color theory with these terrible crayons. <laughs> Just give him red eyes. Christmas eyes, red and green. No, little art lesson. Guys, I'm making brown. Make it brown with the green and the red mixed together. Okay, so I'm so excited right now because tonight, well, this is gonna come out next week. So it won't be this won't make sense because this will have taken place in the past. But tonight I'm doing another live stream, but we're doing the New Girl Halloween episode. And I love that episode. Oh man, I am an artist. Look at this. It's layering colors. It looks weird. Because <laughs> we're like, don't we take advice from her about like colors and stuff? Um Anyway, I'm excited about talking about Nick and Jess. And when I posted on Instagram that we were going to be doing New Girl, uh, somebody messaged me and they were like, oh no, are you going to like ruin my crush on Nick now? Because there are people who don't love that I've essentially destroyed Damon. And I was like, no, I actually love Nick and I think he's amazing. And I give him an A plus and I didn't always used to feel that way, but I was really enlightened by mixing mediums. Ooh, look at this, I'm mixing mediums. Oh, no, I'm just erasing the crayon. Oh, that's making kind of a cool texture though. <laughs> oh, the tip broke, that's what she said. Anyway, uh, there is a woman on Twitter, and she's more than a woman on Twitter, she's an author, and she loves Nick Miller, and she would, talk a lot about why he is great and it really opened my eyes because I used to be like yeah I'm not I don't find the like curmudgeon that doesn't have a bank account thing like endearing per se <laughs> um I would I would like for you to have your stuff a little more together and I still feel that way and so I love and appreciate Nick Miller I think he's adorable uh I probably would not want to date Nick Miller, just because of what my personality is. Oh, I have brown over here. Because mm -hmm. they're kind of hazel. Ooh, this video is all over the place. That's okay. Just bringing you guys into my creative process. I'm sparking joy for myself, and I'm, I'm involving you in that. I probably wouldn't want to date a Nick Miller just because I am um, a, well, a Virgo, and I do think it would drive me insane. And I kind of think he would drive Jess insane, but I guess she's fine with that. And I think she might be like silly enough that it works. I don't know. But I do think he is like a good partner in a lot of ways. And I'm excited we're gonna talk about that tonight. I don't have so many thoughts. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna leave my lives up after we do them. I thought I was going to at first, but I kind of like the idea of it being just like in a moment and then it's done. So we'll see. Potentially, I'm going to say all of this and you're going to be like, oh, now I can go watch it because she left it up and it might just be a tease. And I'm like, nope, after it was done, I took it away. And now I'm just throwing it in your face a few days later if you weren't there. But I am going to be doing them every Thursday night at 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the foreseeable future. We're going to watch different episodes of stuff. 
if you have ideas of what you want to watch, you just let me know. Okay, so his brows are obviously important. They're not shaped like this in real, real life because this comic, or comic, what is this called? Coloring book. Like Chance the Rapper's um, album. This is not like Chance the Rapper's album, though. That was a good album. This is a weird book. Oh, it's just angst. It just mm, makes this. This is Stefan's face all the time. Poor baby. Deserves so much better. See, they didn't even get. He's got these always. Got little. Little. Mm. I love him. I love him. And I also. Did you guys see? Oh, no. Did you see Alaric on Twitter? I deleted Twitter and I stand by that, but I got so many messages the night after the vice presidential debate, not about the candidates, but about Paul Wesley and I forgot his name, the guy who plays Alaric on Twitter. Apparently our sweetest little love, Alaric, is a fucking Trump supporter in real life, which is so upsetting and also kind of makes sense. And they had a little Twitter beef during the debate. And I gotta say, it's I've never felt so good being Team Stefan before because he, he handled it. Although he did say something that didn't make sense because he was like, you guys, Alaric's gone crazy. Like he drank some Vervain or something like that. He was saying like, Alaric's crazy because he drank Vervain. And I was like, I think you just like, misused the lore of your own <laughs> TV show because I think it would have made more sense if you were like oh Alaric's being crazy he's clearly been compelled quick get him some vervain or so something <laughs> because the he has vervain so he's crazy is kind of like not how vervain works <laughs> duh how do we feel about this guys what color should we make his little lip Pinkish? Is it pinkish mouth? Let's see if this crayon fares any better than the last. No. It's interesting how it has the ability to do nothing and then way too much something. Like nothing and then these big globs. Why are you like this? Oh. Is this video so boring? Is it bad? Do you hate it? Oh my god. If you hate it, don't tell me. Or do tell me. A little bit of red. Ooh, how do you... Ooh, should we put lipstick on him? <laughs> Let's do a little bit more. I wish there were more brown options! A little... Oh, that's too brown. Too brown. Too much. I just want a little, little texture. Little texture. Mm, a little bit around his eyeball. So, mm. so I feel like this video is getting really weird. I probably should have chosen a subject I feel less intimate towards because I'm I feel like I'm making some <laughs> weird sounds. Showing my uh, perfections a little too much, perhaps. Oh my gosh, so you guys know that my son is Spider-Man, yes? People are aware of this. What you might not know, unless you looked at my stories the other day on Instagram, is that I actually live in the neighborhood in Queens where they film most of the Spider-Man movies that have come out, like all the way from the Tobey Maguire ones to the Tom Holland ones. And... Caspian knows that, and it's just a coincidence. Like, he didn't become a fan of Spider-Man just because we live in the neighborhood, but, like, he knows that we live in the neighborhood, and that makes him very happy. I'm a little confused by the line. Oh, that's part of his neck still. Oh! Whoops. Sorry, I forgot about your neck, man. My bad. Anyway, now that I've made that weird... 
Oh, should we do a little more shading? Yeah. He also has more like this going on. He's got some of this. Can't forget that. And then, oh, should we just accentuate? Accentuate. Oh, I'm being weird again. Oops. Anyway. Uh, Spider-Man, they film it here. And I saw signs for production parking down the street from our house. And I was like, what is this? And I looked it up and it's fucking Spider-Man 3. The new one that they're filming with Tom Holland and Zendaya and everything. And I was like, oh my God, this is once in a lifetime that Caspian is at this age where he cares this much about Spider-Man and we live here and they're filming it. And so I like creeped around, man. And I creeped in, and I found the uh, assistant director's <laughs> trailer. And first I like went around to some various crew members and was like, where are things happening? What's going on? And I was like, I am going to get my child a view of some cool Spider-Man shit being filmed. And then when I actually talked to the assistant director, they were actually very nice, but they are only doing visual effects here because of stupid COVID affecting everything. Uh, they, you know, didn't want to risk people traveling as much unnecessarily so they still want it to take place in our neighborhood or like spider-man to be from this neighborhood so they are doing like all of the they're capturing all the like buildings and everything and then they'll just like green screen them in and then they'll film everything else in atlanta so it's like damn it but they were really nice and they all met caspian or not all but like they met caspian and he told them he was spider-man and they were like cool so now at least everyone knows that Caspian is in fact Spider-Man, including the people working on Spider-Man 3. This looks really stupid. <laughs> you know, I don't typically speak while I make art and I'm finding the reason and it's this. What is that? I, I just love his jawline so much that I just like smushed it on. <laughs> like they already drew his jawline. I was like, no, put more here. <laughs> so stupid. I guess I'll put your hair or your skin in your hair because oh, oh art because if I mix this almost useless skin crayon with the hair it's doing something I think this video is so pointless but I just wanted to draw. <gasps> Never should have doubted myself. Ah. Oh. oh no. Now I have to. Yes. Oh, if only I'd known this all along. This could have been a whole different story. So anyway, how are you guys? Should I start doing favorites videos for artists? Artists. I can talk. I was just thinking of, uh, there's so many artists and things that I like in the month. I was like, I don't feel like I should maybe do um, some like, favorites videos just for that. Stefan, I forgot about my Bloody Mary. <laughs> this is so good. This looks really dumb and bad, but at least my Bloody Mary tastes good. Should I make him, you know what I wish I had? Oh, oh, I do have some. Okay, here we go. This is what I should have been using. Guys, what was I thinking? Why didn't I do this in a cooler way sooner? Check this out. Check this bitch out. Oh, is that more neck? I don't know what his neck is and what is it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, are you ready to have your mind blown? Are you ready to have your mind blown? And then silence. I'm looking for a paintbrush! Oh, the paintbrush is... Okay, well, maybe blown was a stretch. I can't find a paintbrush anywhere. That isn't, like, dead. 
I'm gonna use my finger. Finger watercolor, watch this. Woo! Ooh. Stefan's got a pink shirt and I love it. This is fun. Maybe I should get some of those adult coloring books that are like actually a good drawing. No offense to the person that made this. I think it'd be fun to do some real ones. What should we put behind him? Yellow, green and yellow, like a sunflower. What colors do I have? Doo -doo 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 -doo. The camera cut out and I don't know when. This video is a train wreck, but that yellow looks pretty. Ooh. The end. I learned a lot about different, some different mediums that I'm not familiar with. I love his face and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And I mean, my slogan for this channel is fresh, relatable, dumb. So I guess we're like spot on with the content creation. If you want to see more things like this, let me know. If you don't, please don't tell me. It will hurt my feelings. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye.